What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to create a room and a room schedule. And then we're going to add room tags in our building model. Okay? So we're going to create first a room schedule and we're going to define rooms. Okay? So let's do this. So to create a schedule or room schedule, it's the same way as creating your uh, door hardware schedule and door schedule that we did last time. So you just need to right click the schedules and then we're going to select schedule quantities. Just select that one and for the category look for rooms. So just select the rooms. Okay and then after that you just need to uh, select your okay. Alright, so just select that and now for the available fields here, so I'm going to include here the number, the name, uh, what level, and also I want to know the area of the room and also if there's a comment that you would like to put on the room schedule, you. so we're going to add the comments as well. And then after that, we're going to sort it by uh, number. Okay, and then on the formatting for the area, you can change here the heading, remember, if you would like. So you can change that. And then you can also change the alignment, for example, for your area. So let's say for the alignment, I'm going to select uh, right alignment. Okay, and then after that, I also would like to calculate the total for the area. Okay, just like that. And then after that, I'm just going to select here, okay. Okay, so this is now our schedule with number, name, level, area, comments as the uh, fields. Okay, now I'm going to add here a row. Okay, so there's the rows. So I'm going to select insert data row. So just click that one. And then for the number here, I'm going to change that to, I'll, on the first floor, I want that to start at 101. And then for the name here, I'm going to change this to lobby and then enter. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add five more rows. So I'm going to insert data row. One, two, three, four, five. Automatically, the number will follow 101. But for the name, we need to change this. So let's say I want uh, for corridor and then uh, three office. So I can just click the drop down here and look for the office since I already type it. So office and then one uh, large office. One large office for that. Okay, now the next thing that we are going to do here is we're going to add tags to our room. Okay, so let me go back again to my ground floor. And I'm going to zoom into this area here. Okay, so this area, so this will going to be my lobby. So I'm going to select from the architecture tab let's look uh, look for the room and area i'm going to select here room so let's click that and here on your uh, options bar you see the room here is new i'm not going to create a new room but i'm going to click the drop down arrow and then look for the rooms that we have created so this will gonna be my lobby so i'm going to select their lobby and then i'm going to pick here so that's it so it's not that difficult Okay, <clears throat> and then after that, from the uh, modify, I'm going to select that to terminate it. Now, here, I'm going to select this room. Okay, so just click that room. By the way, if you are having a difficulty, although it's not difficult, it's not difficult to select your room because you just need to hover your pointer like that. And then once you highlight that cross, uh, room so just click that one and then you will now be able to uh, see the property of that room okay so for this one I'm going to put a comment here okay so I'm going to put uh, this is my public 
entrance. Okay, and then I'm going to select your apply. Okay, so if you have another type of room tags, you can select your room here or your room tag. And then you can change that. You can modify that particular uh, tag later on. Okay, you can change that one. So what you do is you can go to the uh, tag. You can select the tag here and then you can check the tags and then you can look for rooms okay so as you can see i only have one loaded tags here which is m room tag okay so i don't have other uh, room tags but just in case you have another tags so this is how you select it if you're going to tag the rooms or if you are going to replace the room tags that you have placed but anyway i'm going to cancel this one and then I'll select modify. So now let's check the room schedule that we have created. So let's click that. And you will now see that it's now automatically updated here. So there's your level, there's your area, and then there's the comment that we have uh, placed. Okay. All right. So let us now continue placing our uh, rooms. Okay, so let's go back to the ground floor and then let's create now our room. So I'm going to select the room here, room again. Okay, so this time I'm going to create a new room. I'm not going to click the drop down arrow and then select here. So I'll just want to create a new one and I'm going to place one here. This is the toilet, right? So I'm going to place one there. Okay, and then I'm going to place another room. So this is going to be my, let's say this is going to be my large office. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow and then select large office. And then I want that to be placed here. That's the one. Okay, and then click the drop down. I'm going to select a uh, small office. So let's say this is my small office. So let's click that. Then I'm going to select office again. So here, another office. And another office. Office, I'm going to place it here. And then the last one is the corridor. So this is my uh, corridor area. So let's place it here and modify. Okay. So let me place another room. This time new. No other room here. So new. I'm going to place one here. And then I'll select here modify. Okay. So, for example, this will going to be my uh, male's toilet room or men's toilet room. Men's toilet room. Let's move that. And then, for example, this will going to be my women's toilet room. Women's toilet room. Enter. Okay, again, if you're going back again to the room schedule, we click that and it's now updated here. You can put as many comments as you want for each of the rooms here, just like what we did in the lobby. You can put here or you can also select the room from the floor plan and then change the or put the comments here on the properties here. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to open the main floor. So let's go to the main floor. And here we're going to put uh, uh, tags, more tags or more rooms. Okay. So by the way, I'm just going to put a door here. So there's one door and then one door here. Okay. I don't want that 
uh, door tag. So I'm going to delete that. Okay, so let us put room here. So I'm going to select room. Okay, so I'm going to put one here. Okay, so now the number here is 109. So I'm going to change that. So I'm going to select modify. So let's click that and then change this to 201. Okay, and then this will going to be a sleeping quarter. Okay, so that's all for this one. Okay, so you can just put more rooms here. Room, so you can put another one here, one here, one here. Okay, and then just modify. Let's change this again to sleeping quarter. By the way, aside from changing here on the floor plan, of course, you can go back to your room schedule and then you can change from here. So this is my sleeping quarter as well. Sleeping quarter and then sleeping quarter. Okay, so let's go to the main floor. As you can see, it's now updated. Okay, so now uh, we can also create another room tags or uh, annotate your section. So if you go to the section here, you can put your uh, tags here. So you can put a tag. So let's say I do not want to pick one by one. What I want to do is I just want to do it at once. So what you do is go to your annotate. And then we're going to tag the rooms. Just make sure the room already has a uh, room placed on it. Okay. Otherwise, you will not be able to uh, tag it. Okay. So let's select here tag all. And then we're going to select room tags. And then once you select here, okay. Okay. So do you want to enable it? Yes. Okay. So okay. There you go. So automatically, you don't need to place your uh, tags one by one by clicking each room. But once you select tag by uh, tag all, it will place. So the reason there's no tag here because there is no uh, place room here. Okay. So we didn't place a room there a while ago. So the room, you can only place this on the floor plan. You cannot place this on the section view. Okay, so after we learn how to create a room schedule and place tags on it, okay, we are now going to learn how to create a material takeoff. So to do that, just right click the schedule quantities and then select your new material takeoff. Click that one and then we are going to create a door material takeoff. So I'll change the name. So I'm going to make this ground floor door material take off and then I'll just select your OK and then let's select the fields so I want the field for the material name and area as well material area and material volume and the mark okay Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to select here. Okay, so that's it. There you go. So this is now our uh, takeoff. Now for the material mark, so I'm going. This is a glass, so I'm just going to put here a G for glass, and then for the door frame, this will gonna be D F door frame. And then uh, this will gonna for the door panel. I'll just put DP. There you go. So it's now all updated. Okay. So remember this one. You can also export this to your uh, Excel if you want to open this to your uh, Excel. Okay. So let's say for example, um, 
you want this to export so what you do is you can go to the file and then you go to export and then you click that arrow there and then you look for report so you can select that and then you can export your room area or your schedule just click the schedule and then after that you will now be able to save it as a csv file okay so that's it for this one so you can just uh, save it like that so you can just uh, accept this because later on you can still modify this one and then open to uh, excel okay so after you create your ground floor door material takeoff and export it to excel by the way you can still modify this schedule remember you can always go to your properties here you can sort it let's say by uh, mark let's select okay so it's now sorted by mark okay all right so basically that's how you create your rooms and room schedule and also how to create your ground floor door material takeoff so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day